What's up guys, it's your boy Paul here again coming at you with another video. Look, today I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about being thankful to those people who say no. Um, it is most likely that whatever venture that you're going on and that you are about to go through, um, you're going to try and be bringing people on board, right? Whether it's you know salespeople or graphic designers or um, you know clients, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to do, if it has a pretty big purpose behind it, most likely you're going to try to be bringing people on board, asking people to join you, um, and everything like that. Look, I just want to talk about this lesson um, that I feel like I'm learning and that I'm trying to implement, and it's made all the difference in even how um, my attitude stays the same and how it's able to stay consistent regardless of what people tell me. And it's this, be thankful to those people who tell you no, right? So you go pitch your service to a client. No, I don't think it's I'm good. You go and try and uh, you know bring someone on board. You tell them about where you're trying to go, what your mission statement is, and everything like that. Ah, no, 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 I'm good. I, I don't think it's the right fit for me. You know, um, whatever you're trying to do, you're constantly trying to pitch people, and you're just hearing the word no, 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 no. No, no, right? Over and over and over again. It's like, how do you not get discouraged when that's all you hear? When all you're hearing is no, no, no. You can't bring anyone on board to join you. No one wants to, you know, do what you're doing. And anytime you try and pitch something to a client, no, I'm good. I don't need your services. Well, here's the thing. Being thankful, here's what I found. I respond to every single person who says no. I respond. I don't just write them off. Reason being, because here's the thing too. If you pitch something to someone, and the second they say no, you're just done with that person, well, let me tell you this. You deserve to get told no. Why? Because you were only looking to take from that relationship. Even if your service is a give, you were only in it for you. So if you get pissed and you're like, oh, screw that person, and you're not responding to them, hey, thank you, thank you for the message, thank you for you know, responding, thank you for your consideration, blah, 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 blah. You were only looking to take in the relationship anyway, so you deserve to get told no. And so what I've done is just become extremely thankful thankful for those people who say no thankful for you know them responding to me thank you for considering my offer blah blah blah, blah. because i want to cultivate a relationship with that person you know they may say no now but this has happened over and over and over in sales and everything else look it's the follow up it's the relationship a lot of times people don't buy just because it's a superior product or whatever it is they buy because of relationship, and relationship happens because of trust. So for example, if someone were to only reach out to me and I were to tell them no, and they were to say no problem, you know, but then they follow up with me, you know, six months later, three months later, a year later, and they're just still checking in on how I'm doing, dude, that's a relationship. Like you're cultivating a relationship and you have all you have you have all the reason in the world to be thankful. Look, you gotta also consider what it's what the opposite side is. And so like when I think about like working for myself and everything like that, like sending messages, trying to be, uh, trying to get people to join what I'm doing, trying to sell products, whatever it is, you know, bringing people to church, you know, whatever it is. Like I just think about what the opposite would be. What if I had to do all that same work and, but just do it for someone? What if I had to work a nine to five and be doing the same exact thing just for that person? Like goodness gracious. Ah, that would be hard for me to do, but I can't get myself to do it. No, 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 no. I have to be able to get myself to do it because I never want to be in that spot where I'm doing that for someone else. Because best believe that, you know, the bigger things get, I'm going to start outsourcing some of that stuff. You know, you're going to start outsourcing some of that messaging and contacting and calling, cold calling, all that stuff. Now, I'm not going to be doing that my whole life. But I got to be thankful for the season of what I'm in. 
Also know this, every single successful person, they always talk about it. Man, I remember those days when we were just getting started. And they just reminisce on it with such a smile because that's truthfully one of the most exciting times when no one knows who you are yet, yet you know where you're going. Like, that's so exciting because you know what's gonna happen and just no one knows you yet. Look, everyone hops on the train once the train's going. Think about LeBron. Oh my goodness, you know how many bandwagons there are with LeBron? To an extent, I mean, sometimes I cheer for LeBron just because it's LeBron too. Like, literally, it, it's what happens, but you gotta be super grateful, be super thankful for the opportunity that you have, for the position that you're in right now, where no one knows you, everyone's skeptical, you know, they're like, who's this guy offering the service? Or, you know, who's this girl offering me to, you know, do my website for me and, you know, everything like that. Like, what is going on? Be thankful for those times. Guys, look, I remember when I first, when I got my first call for landscaping, I was at a hotel about two hours away. I was in the room um, with my parents right next to a window and I see the area code for which I'm from and I start freaking out. I was like, mom, dad, I, I think this is a call. I think this is a call. Because two weeks before, it took two weeks, I sent, I sent the flyers out and I was like, man, nothing's happening. I saw my area code pop up. It's like, oh, I think this is it. I remember I got on the phone, had no script, no nothing, literally just first call ever, set up the appointment, you know, came by, landed the job. Like it was just super, super exciting. And you know, I remember I was like, wow, I just went from zero to one, you know, and that one to seven, seven to 15, then 15 to 55. And I still look back, like you saw me just tell that story. I smile when I think about that because those were the beginning days. Those are the days of treasuring. Those are the days when no one knows you, when you know word gets out that you're good at what you do and uh, you're efficient and all this stuff, you're professional. Look, people are gonna come to you. And like, those are good days too, of course. Those are exciting, you're expanding. But look, be super grateful for the beginning. Be thankful for the people that are saying no. Be thankful for all of the hardship that you're going through. I, I can't say this enough. Be willing to literally eat dirt for your own self, knowing that if you don't, you're just gonna have to eat dirt making someone else rich. I, I can't go to that experience. I, I, I would rather be broken poor trying to grind, trying to hustle for myself, than trying to make someone else wealthy and just being, eh, this gets by. I, I can't live in a, eh, this just gets by. I wanna have exciting life. And what I mean by exciting could be totally different compared to maybe what you mean. So I just felt compelled to share this message today. Be grateful, be thankful for every single person who rejects you. Not that like, oh, just wait one day when I'm gonna succeed and oh, I can't wait to show you. No, not even close. Like actually thankful that they would take the time to respond to you, a no name, who hasn't got a business up and going yet, and that they would just take the time to respond to you or that they would take the time to even consider what you're doing or consider your offer. Okay, start implementing this in your own life. Start thanking people every single time that they say no. And make sure that they know it's sincere. It's not a spiteful thing or like a trying to be polite but I'm actually pissed type of thing. Like I just spent so much time coming up with that proposal. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day, John. I wish you the best, Susie. Like. Seriously, implement it and know you have to make them know that you care regardless of what the outcome is. You care about them regardless and that you sincerely wish them the best and that you sincerely hope they have a great day. And then if there's anything you know to do in the future, their last interaction with you was positive. Their last interaction, so when you follow up, What's the message they're, they're gonna see above? 
Not that you left them on red when they said no. Or, you know, whatever else. You thank them for their time. And so the next time you follow up, they're like, classy person. They're still at it. Wow, they're, they're still making websites for people. They're still uh, mowing lawns for people. You know, they're still painting mailboxes for people. Hey, maybe I'll give them a try. They're still in it now. Maybe I'll give them a try. You never know what it could do when you're thankful and when you persist. So that's the message for today, guys. Uh, if this message helped, be sure to give it a like. As always, if you know someone who could use this message, maybe someone who is uh, a little more cynical or a little more on the downside uh, and is maybe just frustrated with all the no's that they're getting in business, with all the you know, proposals that they're trying to make and it's just not working, um, send this video to them. And uh, you know, as always, stay tuned for the following videos. I'm trying to come up with these a lot more now. Uh, so stay tuned for those and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.